All right, in this video, I have something super different. Check out, first of all, this uh, iridescent cover on this thing. Uh, this is a really interesting pair of sneakers. This is a Tombago a collaboration with Saucony known as the Butterfly. And I figured I'd go ahead and bring you guys a review of these compliments to you guys who left a comment on one of my other videos suggesting that I check this shoe out. And I was like, I didn't even know the name and then I typed it into the browser and then searched and I was like, bruh, these are definitely something I could see myself uh, reviewing and it was actually a pair that I did see I just didn't even know the name of at the time So I appreciate y'all that leave comments like that and then it gives me the opportunity Maybe to expand my horizon and bring you guys other content. So retail is hundred and twenty no wait Excuse me hundred and ten dollars on the Tombagos and these are very very interesting looking Very much like the other foam sneakers that we've seen on the market, but also very different and uh, it's exciting to see just an evolution of sneakers on the market that have some sort of unity, even if it's copying or whatever else it might be. But uh, I think that the presentation of this one makes this an extremely cool package. Best of all of the foam uh, type sneakers that I've seen so far. And again, it starts with this box. As you can see through it, it has the iridescent vibe. Really love the look at that. It does say Tombago, and then it has Tombago with the Saucony logo. And it says, the butterfly reminds us that there is always beauty at the end of adversity. That's a pretty beautiful statement if you ask me. But, uh, but I didn't know anything about Tombago, what the brand was, what it was, even if it was a brand, and then I had to do a little bit of research research for you guys to bring you guys this video so let's go ahead and get into it and then I will compare to some of the other competition that I have out here because I do have a couple other things out here so I uh, will take a look at some of the competition and uh, get in it from there if you guys want to buy a pair of the Saucony butterflies from Tombago I will link them in the description and you can buy them like from Saucony and whatnot but uh, let's go ahead and get in some words of what Saucony says about the product Tombago X Saucony Butterfly $120 my bad on the box it actually says 110 but on the website it says 120 the Tombago X Saucony Butterfly collaboration by designer Tommy Bago is a brand new silhouette that combines functionality with performance. This multifunctional shoe includes a modular inner booty that can be removed from the outer clog shell. The modular design enables self-expression with an interchangeable system uh, which allows users to choose how they want to wear the shoe. It does feature power run cushioning, a premium air mesh and co-branded logo, gradient sock liner, iced outsole pods, and then custom box. True to size or half sizes suggest half size up. I got a size 10, normally I'm a 9.5, and the size 10 was the right choice. Now Tommy Bago is the dude's name that created these. I've checked him out on Instagram, seems like a pretty cool guy. For me, he kind of reminds me of like a Salehi Benberry type obviously a visual person that has a lot of uh, fun like different things that he designs again as i already mentioned presentations a plus with the box love that also my first impression straight out of the box is this thing is cool you have to pull this little uh, tab out and it pops out and it's a little shoe tree but not like any that i've seen it's like a little hanger shoe tree very cool design on that very easy to use uh, but again, visually, it's just really dope and very simple at the same time. It's something that can be reusable and a nice replacement to like that paper insert that we normally get. And then just looking at the shoe, I'm like, dang, like look at this midsole. It's absolutely massive. And then you do have uh, a second section. It almost looks like because it's the second color uh, where you have the like the foam upper of the shoe. That's a laceless design. Then you have the booty insert here that does come out. So I like the fact that it is convertible and you have potentially two different shoes here but three different ways to style the shoe if you choose you can obviously just wear them with the booty uh, and this is a weird one because i honestly didn't think i would ever want to wear these with just this piece but to be honest like i was just wearing these around the house inside the house and it was pretty cool because it gave me some traction on the inside of the house it has a lot of grip with the little triangles on the bottom here but i was wearing these just in the house and i you know i don't know it felt like kind of nice because honestly it's really breathable the entire thing is like mesh on the front half of the shoe and then you have some padding and little heel protection i felt like a ninja in the house but it was uh, a welcome feeling now i like the idea that you can bring out the liner if you want to go in the water or something like that you can just go with this but again it's going to be a little bit big so sizing is a little bit tricky the way they create sneakers like these but really i question the functionality of using just one or the other i actually like this one by itself it felt pretty good inside my house but when you had the jordan one this one was a little bit too snug but then you have the real big problem and that's unfortunately the shell is just too big to wear by itself. Even the ADQ foam is removable completely, as you could see. And really, I could see interlocking different pieces uh, together to make different color combinations. But functionality-wise of wearing just this uh, versus this, this is just too weird with a weird little bump on the bottom. And this shell is just way too big to be wearing with no socks on if you're trying to wear these as water shoes, like as a replacement for a pair of Crocs. 
this is not going to work. It's too big. You're going to look really silly with a shoe that's two sizes too big. Same thing with this. The Tamagos offer the same issue where it's just a little bit too big. And I would even say the Jordan System 23 is the same thing. They're just a little bit too big when they're just the empty shells versus wearing them with the liners in the shoes. Uh, it's just an interesting conundrum. It's like, it's great that you have different options of wearing your footwear. I just don't see the functionality of where I would be wearing these. Uh, but leave a comment in the comment section. What would you guys do with the inner booties? Like, how would you wear these? Just inside your house? Or what would you do? I do like the idea of just wearing these in your house and then throwing on your other shoe and then just going outside the house. It's kind of nice to be able to wear uh, that way. And I would say that both of these are actually good options for that because of the inner booty being uh, very like form fitting. The Nike one is a little bit too snug for me though, um, to be 100% honest, and I did go up a half a size even. The Tombago actually fit pretty good, and this was actually a pretty interesting experience because this is so see-through that it was really easy and breathable like when I'm wearing it around my house. So I did like the fact that it wasn't like overly sweaty, uh, unlike something like this would probably get a little bit extra sweaty. But anyways, we're gonna have some functionality issues if you're trying to multitask these sneakers for other different purposes. When you have other shoes in the market like these that can just kind of do that function of wearing just the outer shell. But these are, I think, that $110, $120 price range, which can be a little bit expensive when you have other things that have been dominating the market for years and you have the Crocs clogs. This is the original, so it's like you don't have to sway away from this one. I have like five pairs of Crocs clogs now, lots of different types with the gibbets and all this craziness in here. Lots of fun, honestly, with these Crocs. They don't have any liners in this specific model, but Crocs could easily jump on this bandwagon and have something with a removable liner and then have their own version at a discounted rate. I bet it would be 70 instead of 150. And obviously I have to mention the foam runners as well, because honestly, these look the closest to the foam runners. Very similar looking design though, in my opinion, but I don't think it's biting. I mean, this is really, uh, its own entity and this is kind of crazy looking with a big bump in the front uh, i actually like the styles of this uh tombago better than any of the other options on the market and part of their advertisements that i saw on tombago's uh, page was them putting it in water and they're just floating like this i was like bro i gotta try that so of course i tried it and i put these in the water and they float perfectly fine and then i tried it on all the items and they all float which was super fun to be able to try i don't know why it was just fun to see sneakers floating in the water I don't know. So comparatively, I probably was a little bit harsh to Jordan Brand in suggesting that they were really just kind of playing along with the market and trying to bring something to the market that is very similar to other things that are already on the market. And really, is it like a cash grab of like trying to create their own Crocs-like sneaker? With Jordan Brand, it felt more like that than the Saucony version because of the Tombago collaboration with it. It lets us know that there was some sort of a creative involved with making this come to life. At least it feels that way. Uh, and Saucony is a much smaller company than uh, Jordan brand is. So I think that it's a, still a fair statement to say Jordan is just trying to create something along the lines of, and then this one comes along and then you see I'm very biased to it. And obviously I like this a lot more than uh, what Jordan brand created. It's not to hate again on what they created. It's silly how I'm like, this one's acceptable, but the other one's not. I totally get that. But hopefully my reasoning why it makes sense. And honestly, like I'm not the expert on it. It's just my personal opinion. If you guys have your opinions on if these copied the Yeezy, uh, foam runners or not or if these are copying the easy foam runners or if these are or did easy foam runners copy crocs i mean honestly everybody has an opinion on the matter the point i'm trying to make though is that uh, foam sneakers are here to stay man we have a ton of different options and it's really fun to see all different forms and all different shapes come to life from different brands and honestly they're not like a 200 dollars price point for some of these sneakers 120 is still a lot but you get some pretty cool creativity going on. I don't think they're fully flushed out, as I already said, with the System 23s and then also with the Atticues. The sizing issues of trying to make a shoe multifunctional is not usually very easy. You have the inner booty that's really too snug or you have an exterior shell that's extremely large. So the sizing of all of it just doesn't really make sense. In that case, I think that the Easy Foam Runners is probably a really great option for you because obviously it's kind of a popular shoe, but it's something that is just singular. It doesn't have an inner line or anything like that. Uh, or like I said, you could just go with regular Crocs. I'll link all of them in the description if you guys are curious and interested in seeing all of them. But at the end of the day, I think my favorite out of the group is gonna be the uh, the Saucony Tombagos. So the Tombagos with everything in the liner and everything is 10.3 ounces. Without the liner, it's only 7.7 .7 ounces versus the Foam Runner that's 9.3 ounces for just the shell. The Crocs clogs are only seven ounces and that's with like four or five uh, gibbets on them. The Jordan System 23s are 7.8 ounces with just the Crocs. Combined though, it's 12.2 ounces. And then the Addy Q foam is 14 ounces. I knew this one would be the heaviest. It's the most heavy duty feeling for sure. So which is the softest and most comfortable? 
cool. Honestly, it's obviously gonna be uh, up to you and like your comfort levels. But I would actually say it's a pretty close run between these two. The Foam Runners, obviously, pretty comfortable model. Uh, then the Tombagos actually have a really nice midsole with a Power Run. It's not Power Run Plus, but Power Run midsole uh, is really nice as well. Squishy Factor, I would say that both of these are, are excellent options. Then the next tier down, if you don't wear the liner in these, I actually really like that better. And it has the same sort of vibe as a regular pair of Crocs, which is actually pretty comfortable as well. And then the third version, I actually think this one's pretty comfortable as well. But this is more like a sneaker it has an actual outsole on it. And then the liner and stuff feels like a regular pair of shoes. It does have a nice little foam insert on the bottom as well. But probably somewhere along the lines of that. Uh, I would say they're all fairly comfortable though for whatever they're offering. It's actually all uh, something that would be worth checking out on your feet. Honestly, if you like any style specifically better, there's not any difference in comfort with respect to how much you actually like each of the models. So if you think these things are absolutely terrible, but I say they're the most comfortable and you really, really love these, and I said they're not that comfortable comparison, Go with your gut and get these because when you try them on, they're both comfortable. So I'm just throwing that out there. I would say all of them are pretty comfortable. Out of the five, which was the ones that I would actually wear on a regular basis? Uh, well, again, it's really a preference on where you're going to be wearing them, how you're going to be wearing them, if you're going to get them wet in the water, if you're going to be wearing them um, like just casually out and about or within the house. All of those factors kind of go in play. And for wearing around the house, you could be wearing either of these. I would say, although they look very similar, the Saucony one is more comfortable than the Jordan one, but that's just my personal experience. But again, if I'm just gonna be wearing this shell, this is gonna be a sizing issue. This is too big to wear casually, unfortunately. That's just my experience though. Uh, what do you guys think? And what do you guys think about the uh, removable booty inside of a sneaker footwear sort of thing? I like the vibe, I like the trend. I don't know the functionality of it. I can't really think of a time where I'll go, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear one or the other instead of like both at the same time. But if you guys have use cases where you think yeah, I would wear one instead of the other. Leave a comment and let me know. I still stand by my statement though. It's a sizing issue. A little bit snug, like too loose. And then together it feels okay. It's still like a fundamental issue across the board for all three models that I've tried with removable insoles. So I do like conceptually where the market's at with that. However, it just needs to figure out the right fit to make everything work uh, where it is actually functional with um, multiple usage. Like you can wear these if you want with really thick socks and you're gonna be good. But, uh, but if you're trying to wear these with no socks, it's, again, just a little bit too big. But that's uh, my thoughts. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to buy any of them, check the links in the description. But I do appreciate you all for stopping by and watching. Hopefully, we'll catch you guys back for some more sneaker videos on my channel. All right? Have a good one. Peace, guys.